New information tonight about a disturbing case out of Gaston County. A teacher's assistant is accused of having a sexual relationship with a student. Kelvin Howell is out on bond tonight after being arrested last week on felony and decent liberties with a student. Police say Howell met the student while working at Ashbrook High School in Gastonia. NBC Charlotte's Brandon Goldner joins us live outside the school. Brandon, how did police find out about this? Well, Fred and Sarah, according to this search warrant, police say the victim's brother actually walked in on the two in the victim's bedroom. Lowell police say Kelvin Howell met the victim when she was a student and he was a teacher assistant at Ashbrook High School. Investigators say the teen girl's brother came home last month and found a strange car in his parents' driveway. He called for his sister inside before going upstairs to her bedroom. That's where investigators say he found Howell and his sister. Gaston County Schools say Hal was working as a teacher assistant at HH Beam Elementary School this year. A spokesman says Hal resigned from his position earlier this month, but his name is still listed in the school's staff list. We went to Hal's Ranlow home to ask him questions, but no one answered the door. Answers are also scarce as to why we're seeing a rise in students being the victims of sex crimes in school. A state report presented to the General Assembly this year found a nearly 49% rise in school sex offenses in 2018. Among those offenses, reports of teachers and school workers arrested for having sex with students. Terry Miller is president of Sesame, or Stop Educator Sexual Abuse, Misconduct and Exploitation. It's a Nevada-based advocacy group which demands greater protection protections for victims of these crimes. She and others argue social media makes it easier for teachers and students to engage in illicit acts. One suggestion she has, no screen time before bedtime. Because you just don't know who's going to climb in bed with your children through that technology. And speaking of phones, according to the search warrant, police actually seized the phone of Hal to comb through it for evidence. Investigators tell me right now they are not searching for any victims at this time. Reporting live in Gaston County, I'm Brandon Goldner, NBC Charlotte. Brandon, thank you.